Hello YouTube, my name is Ali and welcome back to another video in our Pico CTF 2019 challenge series. Um, this is the sixth video in our series and today we're going to be covering some of the cryptography challenges. So we're going to start off with the... so we did the numbers in a previous video. So today we're going to be doing starting at 13. So the challenge is cryptography can be easy. Do you know what ROT13 is? So if you've not heard of ROT13, uh, it is a variant of the Caesar cipher. So if we have a look at it on Wikipedia, it basically stands for rotate by 13 places. And you can look over here and see the different numbers, what they or letters, what they correspond to. So if we go back here, we can see we've got this is the flag, but it's we can't read it. It's encrypted with ROT13. So if we copy that and we go to our terminal, there is a package on Ubuntu or Linux uh, that contains ROT13. Uh, I think it's some kind of games. Yeah, so it just does that. Um, man ROT13, Caesar and ROT13, they're all part of the same package, but... If we do rot13 and give it the flag that we got earlier, well, we can see that's our flag. So we can take that, paste it in. If you're not running on Linux uh, or you don't have those tools, you can use Cyberchef, which we looked at in a previous video. So if we were to copy that again, so copy and paste you in there. Are you going to recognize? Okay, it doesn't recognize that it's ROT13. Um, but if we just drag ROT13 over here, we can see, again, there you get the flag. So that's one challenge done. Uh, we're going to move on to easy one. <coughs> so the one time pad can be cryptographically secure, but not when you know the key. Can you solve this? We're given We've given you the encrypted flag key and a table to help. Uh, there is the flag and that's the key. And we let's have a look at this table. If we open it up, we can see, oh, it's text. So we're just gonna open it in a text editor. And we can see this is an encryption square. So essentially we treat A as the letter zero and we add the two letters together. So this is also known as uh, Vignette. So if I uh, look up the Vignette cipher, we can see that it uses exactly the same um, the same table. If I have a look at this in a bigger here, there we go. It's exactly the same. So we can drag you off. Get rid of you. Uh, Vinya decode. And we're going to say the key is solve crypto. And the, what we want to decode is that. Crypto is fun. There we go. And as I've said before, Cyberchef is an amazing tool. Use it where you can. Um, and does it say anything? Yeah, so Pico CTF. Um, crypto is fun and that's a second challenge solved next we're going to move on to Caesar decrypt this message you can find the ciphertext on the shell server if we have a look at the hints it's just a little um, tutorial on how to use this or how to do the Caesar cipher so I'm going to copy this link location go to our terminal uh, make it a bit bigger and then we're going to make the uh, Caesar. And we're going to grab that file. So now we've got ciphertext. So if we have a look at ciphertext, it's Pico CTF with a load of gibberish. <coughs> so what we want to do is try different combinations of a Caesar cipher. 
So we're going to echo that into Caesar with, let's say, one, and we get nothing, two. So we can have a look through all of the different um, like combinations. Uh, if I have a look at um, PicoCTF slash crypto slash Caesar, and then I want the solution.txt, I can do this and Uh, why is it not? It's supposed to print a new line, but um, uh, let's just do echo. Sees I, echo, done. Oh, so I just didn't quite pick that up properly, but there we go. So now we can see Pico CTF, that's with the flag 26. And if we have a look, we can see crossing the Rubicon and then, yeah, so that will be our flag. So if we take this over here, we can uh, submit the flag. And if you don't understand how this bash script works, it's basically for the variable i in the numbers 1 to 26, uh, cat the ciphertext, pipe it into Caesar with the variable i, so that will be 1 to 26, and then echo, so that just gives us a new line, and that's to say the end of the for loop. <coughs> Pretty easy. Next, we're going to go to flags. Now, what do these flags mean? I'm not going to have a look at... Um, actually, no, I will have a look at the flags, the hints. So, for this, we're going to go out. We're going to make a new directory. We're going to get the flag. Uh, so, if we have a look using I have gnome, we can see... It's just a whole lot of flags, and <clears throat> if you're not familiar with this, just Google around. So search for stuff like flag alphabet, um, and you search that. First thing that comes up is the International Maritime Signal Flags. These are a way that boats can communicate um, with flags or display information with flags. So we can use this to, if we pop you there and you there, we can have a look through the different flags. So scroll down, we're looking for P, R. So this would just be Pico CTF. And in the hints, it did say uh, submit it all in uppercase. So we're going to go Pico CTF. And then we're going to <coughs> have a look at these. So we can see the first character is F because it's the same as that one. <laughs> then we're going to look for red, yellow, red, which is one. Uh, so we've got P1. <coughs> Sorry for my voice. Then Really sorry about that. Uh, P1, and then we've got an A, a G, oh sorry, F1 AG, my bad. AG, and I'm going to guess the next one is a 5. Uh, so if we scroll down, we can see 5 is the blue cross, yes. Um, a, and then the checkered is N. So flags and um yeah because that's the d oh no and we know that that's five uh and 
so flags and oh, the five, one of the last ones, T, U, F, F, flags and stuff. And if we submit that, we have another challenge solved. Um, now that's been 10 minutes, so I'm going to wrap up the video here. I will be continuing some more of the cryptography and all of the other challenges in future videos. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, share, subscribe, and if you have any feedback for me, leave it in the comments section below. Um, I will do my best to respond to all comments. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.